put them in. Meaning is being recorded. Um, we'll call the meeting of the Hidden Hidden School Board to order. General section. Yep. Okay. Uh, and I see that all the members are present. We have a quorum of the board. Uh, and I also want to note uh, for the record that this meeting is being recorded. The first order of business is to call for nominations for board chair. I nominate April. Second. Is there any any other nominations that we need to consider for the for board chair? Hearing none, I will. Uh, any discussion? Okay, nominations are closed. Um, I see that. Who who seconded that motion? Okay. okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Congratulations. It's all yours. Uh, Hearing none, I have a question. Any opponents? Any abstains? Motion moved, Bobby Vice Chair. Congratulations. Is everybody done there? That's going around. Yes. Um, we need a motion to accept the public announcement in March 1st. I'll make a motion. Second. Any discussion? I know we're going to crack some of these things. Well, we abstain because. Like, you don't have to, but it's not necessary. We may, but you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> Just because we weren't there. So. No, no. All, the, all those in favor of selecting those minutes? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Motion to accept the public minutes of March 28th. I'll make that motion. Second. And I just have one amendment. Um, where it, it says the superintendent only works 0. 0.6 hours per week. So it's a 0. 0.6 position, but he doesn't only work 0. 0.6 hours per week. <laughs> yeah. The only other, it said that um, asked when the Budget would be available, and it's in April seventh. And I thought we said April fourteenth. Oh yeah, to yeah, be safe. Back and forth. Right. Yeah. Back oh yeah, back. after contracts are offered, we right. did switch it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> anything else? No. Um. Sorry, I'll make that motion. Uh, no, I think I already made it, but oh, yeah. okay, then I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just need to vote on it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so all in favor of the minutes as amended. Aye. Any opposed? And this time we'll open it up for citizen comments. Anybody in the room have anything at this time? Um, no, anybody online? Yeah, Alex, do you have any comments? I don't, not at this time. Okay, thank you. Donna, do you have any comments? iPhone, do you have any comments? 
you're in our class. I'm all set. So thank you. Sean, do you have any comments? Not at this time, thank you. Teresa, do you have any comments? No, not right now. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And William, do you have any comments? Not at this time, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, moving on, we have a superintendent's report. Okay. Um, you have my report uh, in the, the packet. Um, I just want to highlight uh, some of the items uh, regarding the budget. Um, you know, as, as we all know, the board held a work, workshop on March 28th and uh, adopted strategies to balance the 23-24 the budget within the parameters approved at the district meeting. Uh, and I'm in the process of implementing those strategies um, as we speak. Um, Climate and safety, uh, campus climate and campus safety continue to be at the forefront of what we do. Um, this is especially true uh, given the recent tragic events in Nashville uh, and uh, as well as uh, tragic uh, events that have happened uh, all over this country for the past couple of decades now. Um, so, um, you know, school violence is the worst nightmare for a community. Um, it's the worst nightmare for this father, um, whose adult children have chosen education as a as a vocation. It's the worst nightmare for this grandfather, um, whose uh, grandchildren attend the public schools, um, and it's the worst nightmare for any family. Um, and we are doing everything we can possibly do uh, within the Hinsdale School District to uh, mitigate that. Um, and maintain a climate where um, everybody feels physically and emotionally safe, um, as that is a condition for for great um, education, great teaching and learning. Um, regarding professional development, uh, we had a, a professional development day on March 13th, which uh, I have heard it was was successful. Um, in terms of a great learning experience for teachers and staff, um, as well as a, a nice reflection on what we're doing. Um, Drubber Woodson Law and presenters from the New Hampshire Principal Academy provided a forum, uh, education and training with the administrative staff um, around um, all types of issues, but uh, specifically discipline practices, investigation procedures, Title IX considerations, search and seizure practices um, and all kind of related issues. And they also provided a, um, a, a separate forum for teachers and staff uh, to address some of those issues on a broader, on a broader topic. Um, in addition, we had um, the afternoon of March 13th, all faculty and staff were invited to participate in a SWAT activity where um, you talk about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to the organization um, with the purpose of identifying strength and challenges um, in our district. Uh, several talented teacher leaders um, led those small groups of, of faculty and staff, uh, and um, the purpose was to discuss, explore, uh, and record um, uh, topics uh, regarding strengths and weaknesses, et cetera. And we're in the process of uh, putting together and synthesizing this important in data um, that we can use for the future. Um, and it should provide a nice action plan for the school and the district to improve moving forward. Um, it was a, a great activity um, that I think we need to continue doing um, in this district and engaging all, all of our stakeholders in, in, in that kind of activity. Um, a note that uh, Rumble Woodson Law is reviewing the code of conduct, uh, disciplinary practices, investigation practices, and so on. And uh, they're providing us a, with a timeline uh, of when they expect to be done with that uh, review and uh, be in a position where they can provide recommendations to us. 
to strengthen our practices going forward. Um, the tuition exploratory committee, um, I think we'll talk about that in uh, executive se in a non-public session, um, but uh, that is moving forward. Um, <clears throat> We've been in uh, reviewing our IDA, Title I, and ESSER funding uh, to make sure that we're better aligned with the use of those funds um, and any related personnel that are attached uh, to those grants uh, to make sure it's aligned with district needs uh, moving forward. We are closely evalu evaluating our use of ESSER um, and making decisions now on personnel currently supported uh, by this temporary funding. Uh, we've talked about uh, understanding that funding is going to end in June of 2024. Uh, so uh, our strategy is to uh, move uh, personnel um, uh, that are funded by ESSER uh, into other grants as appropriate, particularly Title I, um, and uh, to make that um, fiscal cliff that's coming in June of 20, 20, 2024 to more of a, um, a hill rather than a cliff. Um, at the, the middle high school, um, you know, John can talk more about this, but um, we're looking at ways that we can redesign and deliver education at Hinsdale Middle High School in a way that enhances engagement um, in a way that uh, provides uh, increased rigor um, in improved climate and looking for ways to do that more efficiently, you know, as we move forward. So that's a that's a big task and it's a big ask. Um, and, uh, you know, we're talking about how to, how to kind of break down that task into smaller doable um, um, strategies as we move forward. But that uh, that's happening right now at uh, Hinsdale Middle High School, and uh, John can maybe talk more about that in his report. <clears throat> uh, ELO, um, you know, I talked about this a bit at the workshop, and um, ELO, Extended Learning Opportunities, um, has been a strength um, of the district. Um, and, uh, you know, post COVID, we need to find ways to kind of reinvigorate that program and and um, get it moving forward again. Um, so as a result of that, um, uh, we've uh, I've reassigned uh, or will be reassigning the position of director in teaching and learning to focus on reinvigorating the ELO program, really focus on, on that effort, um, uh, as well as uh, helping us with district-wide professional development and uh, the development and implementation of, of teacher leadership teams uh, to do some work around climate and culture and um, curriculum articulation, et cetera, moving forward. So um, we have great hopes for that. I will let John talk about where we are with NIAS. Um, we're still working on a dashboard uh, to uh, for the board to use as uh, some data, and you can use that as touch points, you know, when you need to make decisions uh, moving forward. So looking at, at the distance in terms of, um, from a 20,000 foot view um, and get a picture as to where we're going moving forward. Um, that's it for the public session. I'm gonna hold the rest for non-public. Um, and uh, if any questions or concerns, please ask. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so the financial report, good. Uh, Madam Chair, you have my report. I was unable to give you the March financials at the time this went to, to press, but I did print them out because March wasn't closed, but I provided them for you this evening. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, I'll be pleased to answer them. Anyone 
do we do we provide our annual audit online? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay, we do. We do the financial information tab. Like that. Okay. I just wanted you to approve it and accept it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Things should go right in order. So we went to the principal. We're ready. Right, right. <laughs> so it'll be right now. Yeah. So this is where we're at right now. This is I, I did this want to point out too that the to um the budget committee had asked for some um financial information on a monthly basis, and uh, that's that's up to you guys. I'm not. I'm going to just take my direction from you. And who asked the yeah, budget, budget I, committee? I had that highlighted. There was discussion about the town and us also doing both giving them monthly right. updates. Mm -hmm. My question was what exactly like the financials that they right. want the same thing we get. Right. And yeah, it's a public document anyway. Right. Yeah. Right. But so I just, just wasn't gonna agree to anything without yeah, you guys telling me to. You mean a motion <laughs> to approve that as a thing? I just I think it's probably a good idea to you know we're going to have a budget committee rep right and you'll be discussing all this information I don't think we need a motion for it it's yeah, just, it's just, just part of just the consensus yeah, just, yeah, yeah that's what I'm like yeah, yeah. 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 or even send it to the chair of the budget committee. Yeah. 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 The yeah the discussion was yeah. to have me give it to me and then I would send it out to the um, to, to the, the budget group. committee chair, and then he would distribute it to the group. Right? That's everybody fine. okay with that? Yeah. Good with that? Since yeah, I think that would topic. help with transparency. That's so they would be able to set up some lines of communication. Right. right. And it's a public document anyway, so. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. do we need a motion to accept the financial report? No. I no. think she has audit later on here. Yep. So, I think that's so all. I'll we'll make sure if we need one. So, I ju I just to be clear, I will, would think I would wait until after you have accepted the financial reports each month, and then I'll provide it to April to give it to the budget committee. Does that? We, we don't accept it. it. You just well, I know, but, our packet, but you yeah. guys take a look at it yeah. first, I would think. Yeah, yeah and then if other people questions, there's any questions or corrections or anything, then yeah. when does the budget committee meet? What is the same so We don't need to get it. Yeah. I'm hoping to do March. They said they are going to meet in August this year. Yeah. Just to get a head start on things. They want to. Yeah. I, I, my, my feeling was they really wanted to work with us and help mm -hmm. build a relationship, which is mm -hmm. awesome. I was just thinking about timing. Like we yeah. have our meeting the first, first week, and then you know oh, whenever yeah. oh, this is the third Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. There's, that's like their set time. Plenty of time. Yeah, the third Wednesday. Yeah. 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 I think it'll work out. That's I see what little, you're saying. That's all yeah, we yeah. need to give out. Okay. between our meeting and their meeting. Yeah. Yeah, even when, if, when we can go back yep. to the second it's one, it's still fine. Yep. Yep. All right. So moving forward, we'll do that. Was there anything else? Do we need to discuss the lunch thing? What's our protocol for that? Our outstanding lunch balance. Well, you know, we had two years of free lunches during COVID and uh, the board, we had a balance of, I think it was about almost like 3,000, it was in the $3,000 range last year in May and the board voted to um, write that off, which made a lot of sense because it was at least two years old. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody started this year with a zero lunch balance and we're at 12, well, we're today we're at 12,600 and change. It, Yes, this year. That's just this year. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see my, my report, there's 176 students with negative balances. Most of them are small and they make them up. You know, they go they go over a few dollars and then they make them up. But right. several of them are quite large and um, there's 40 students with balances over $100. Um, and the top 10 students count for over $4,000 of that. So what do we do about that? Well, we still feed children, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And we don't let them um, buy ice cream or cookies on a negative, but we give them lunch. 
Uh, we do send emails out. You know, when the cookies. Mm -hmm. uh, if they can pay cash for it, right? If they can pay cash for it, right? Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. pay cash, but we don't make them put the cash on right. their lunch. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what happens if they pocket yeah. their lunch money and then charge the lunch and then buy, buy the, the cookies, cookies, or yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't sure. know. Remember when John told us big thing with the ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. So we had we do send emails out on Fridays generally to all the folks that have a negative balance that goes to their emails, but I don't know that they all get them. The folks that don't have emails, we send the letters home. Um, it's been actually really beneficial to have that communication with parents because some parents have said, "Wait a minute, I've been giving my kids lunch money, and what are they doing with it?" So we print out an activity report and we show the parent exactly what's going on. They can always look. Um, get that information also through the website um titan which is abby group's uh, uh system is is launched through our website um but i i don't know what it is and i can tell you we're not alone this is a lot of schools are doing it and are in the same situation and i don't i i, I just felt it was getting at to a point where i needed to alert you and I, I don't have a don't have a, an idea of how to fix it, other than I look at it very closely. Um, when you say you're sending a letter home, the kid is bringing it home. No, it's it's well, no, we're mailing it's the, it. We're mailing it. Yeah, that's what yeah, I, no. I was gonna say. I'm hoping yeah, you're mailing yeah. it. Do phone I mean, calls go out anymore? Hmm? Do phone calls go out anymore? I, I don't think we've been doing phone calls. We haven't been doing phone calls this year. So and and maybe maybe that is something that, that we can have the principals do. Um, that again, I, I I think principal time is very valuable, and and they should. It's hard to make them a collection agency when they're trying to build a good relationship with families. Yes. To then ask them to call and and be a collection agency is is difficult. Um, but I don't think it's a bad idea on some of these big ones. Right. Yeah. I think and it's a good idea on the big yeah, ones. Yeah, I think on the big yeah. ones, a letter home with no response, maybe then you certainly certify it, make sure somebody's signing for it and actually getting it. Mm -hmm. What is that? Yeah. yeah. And I know that this isn't necessarily about unpaid balances, but um, I've just started talking with um the chair of Franklin. We're both on the NHSBA board together, and he's very active in, you know, uh, I'm not lobbying is not the right word, but it's the only word I can think of. The state government and federal government for free lunch, you know, mm -hmm. to, to get back on trailers for everybody. So I'm going to be working with him and trying to, you know, really um, ramp up efforts with that and recruiting some other board members and different people to try to do that. And that's not that doesn't have to solve this, but it's a longer that's, term. That's why to really get everybody, yeah. you know, that's every, every, if we did it before, there's no reason we can't cover everything. Yeah. Right. Lunch should just be free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. Vermont is running a pilot program this year and they're looking at uh, continuing okay. that. Oh, thank you. A lot I'll of our look into that. Oh, that yeah, Vermont is. So, so doesn't know that. they yeah, did a pilot program this year to have free lunch available to everybody, and they are in the process of evaluating a continuation of that. Oh, thank you. Um, and I think there's some other states that have done that as well. Yeah, I think I've heard of some. I can't tell you which ones, but I've yeah. heard of yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I mean, it's we we don't. So the we, we're very careful. We don't tell a child that's going through the line that they have a negative balance or what it is because that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Not something that we would do. It's not the kids' fault. Um. So it yeah. it it puts us in a difficult situation in a lot of times. But you know, we could ask the the principals to start calling on some of the bigger balances, and um, but again, there's that relationship. Yeah. So that's, I think that's you might try the certified letter first. I like that response. Yeah. yeah, and then if you have to get no response from that, so then continually trying to contact them. Well, I I did talk to the father of um the child with the largest balance of uh, about six weeks ago. He called the school at about. 5 30 at night to talk to somebody and nobody was there so the um the uh, custodian put him over to me and i you know i i explained that you know it, it is a big balance and don't feel you have to pay it all at once yeah. you know if you want to just chip away, chip away at it that's fine but since then one one child has gone down to no balance but the other child's balance has gone up so i don't again i don't know what's going on All right, anything else with that? Okay. 
right, moving on, teaching and learning report, Karen. Madam Chair, we have our report. We have to answer any questions. Um, we also have a request from students make the letter in front of you of draw the ball letter for this heroic position. Um, I also just want to announce that Mason was just sent to ground. So I think it's sense to say I want to make that point. He is asking for a rather big request for his exhibition. Um, Mason is a, a certified EMT. He's a certified EMR and he just passed the EMT exam. Um, he'd like to do uh, a simulation similar to what we've had in the past, but this is a type of air. Mm -hmm. um, he was able to confirm that DART would be willing to land the helicopter as part of the simulation. Um, all dependent on weather, all dependent on a lot of things. Um, yeah. He's working very closely with Miss Green and I to make sure that the details are worked out. Um, the front lawn, the front part of the building, that field is a is a already a landing zone for the helicopter. So um, we would obviously it, it would happen in the afternoon at two fifteen. We've got that plan with them. You know, we would make sure that the call went out. I'll call the day before so people didn't panic. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be good. it'll be on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, And it, again, if it's weather dependent and the weather, he will treat it just as though it was the real scene. And if the helicopter can't land, so we'll move on with the trauma assessment anyway. So without the helicopter landing, um, so I mean, you know, I, I think that it's doable. It is a big one. I'm not going to lie. We've had very much. This will be a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll practice without the helicopter landing, of course. But we'll mm -hmm. do a practice of setting up the landing zone, having a rescue wing connect with um, the fire department, all those pieces we put in place before. And so he just wanted to get your approval for, to do that. Um, we won't. The exhibitions will look a little different this year. They're going to be on site for most of them. We're going to do on sites. But, but this one will be here, obviously. So we're looking at May 11th. He'd like to do it before prom, so it could be sort of a simulation. So, mm -hmm. um, and that will, with your approval, we would do it on May 11th, and then confirm with DART that they're available that day. Um, like Holly said, they do land there yeah, regularly. They, land there. That's they, the landing zone. they don't typically do school visits anymore. Um, they used to do this once a year. They pick like the schools, but they stopped doing that. Um, but he's got an inner rescue and was able to get them to get to it. So. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I, if you were, if you approve of that, we would begin that process of of the detail, the nitty gritty details of that plan. So, do we need a motion to approve? I would that? make the motion that we approve. I would the second the dark helicopter for this ELO. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I, I do know, too, yeah. and I think reinvigorating the ELO oh, right, right. that's yeah. gonna yeah. get people Shoot. thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's like super. For lack of a better word, in your case, that that the load going on, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I will. This is a big one, isn't it? Yeah. So there'll be a lot of detail, and we will make sure that all the time is across the head about that. There's a, a strong rehearsal done ahead of time, so mm -hmm. that the kind of is ready, and then we'll for good weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So all those. Well, any more discussion? Yeah. Give me a second. I mean, it's like you know, yeah, I think we're, I just have one question. She keeps saying it's a big one, which it is. So, I, is there something we're not thinking of a possible negative? I don't think there is, but I, you know, just well, because, I just think that you know. devil's in the detail of this. Okay. You know, when we did the the other the one that had the car where there was an accident, yeah, had, simulation. It was it was the details of it, and if we don't get the details just right, the helicopter could land at two thirty. <laughs> Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Those so kind of nothing things. big that no. we should be concerned. I didn't think so. I just wanted to, no, to ask. I just make sure just... that everything is in sync with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's doable. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay. Thank you. My my only other comment to it would be I know an all call will go out to everybody that's involved in this school, but would the community know what's going on? So our intent was to let the police department know. Okay. Um, and I think we put something on the, the sign. Literally. Oh, yeah. 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 Submission. We're the community connection. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Facebook, I think. Is, yeah, we'll yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Once I have the exact date and time, I can give it to whoever to put yeah. on whatever Facebook. Yeah. To, well, we'll tweet it. We'll do every social media yeah. piece we can. Um, there's still probably not people that probably. are curious. <laughs> right. What's going on up there? Um, yeah, we can share it to some of the other area groups. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see that. I mean, we'll get it out as much as yeah. we can. Yeah. Sure. So, again, this is all dependent on 
start and if they, you know, if they have another call that day, they oh, well, right, yeah, yeah, obviously they can't work for it. With emergency <laughs> services yeah. isn't guaranteed. Like, Hang on, we have to just so <laughs> have <to> stress. <laughs> and let me get you to start. Um, <laughs> um, any other discussion? Good. So, um, move the question. Well, uh, any all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. It's got to go. Any other questions for Karen? Uh, moving on, we have the principal's report. <clears throat> John, you want to go first? So you have my report in your packet. Um, some of the, the key areas are you have the, finally, you have the student wellness survey. Yeah. Um, and uh, the principal advisory committee, which we've met twice so far, has reviewed those results. Um, and there's some areas of concern, you know, a higher percentage of students feeling bored and tired. We don't want that because we want students engaged and excited. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, other areas of concern of, you know, the use of racial slurs mm -hmm. and being treated in disrespectful ways. So we've seen that within the climate and how do we change that? Mm -hmm. And those are some of the main areas that this advisory group is looking at. Um, and we're also looking at, you know, electives based on kids feeling bored and tired and how do we get them more engaged mm -hmm. in, in courses that they want, more hands-on kinds of things. Um, I did send out a survey, but I sent it out incorrectly to the high school students, so I got to send it out again um, about different kinds of courses that they would like to take. And again, more CTE type courses and things like that, which are more hands-on. Um, a big thing we changed skill set and more of a focus on academics and we looked at maps data. Um, and so kids are in three weeks and then they focus on one area and then they focus on another area through the remainder of the year and then we'll evaluate how school's uh, skill set goes for the middle school. Um, very proud of the fall sports team. They were the first out of 27 schools. Uh, in Division Four for sportsmanship. That's great. That's what we want to see, regardless of wins and losses. Mm -hmm. um, a, a big thing is that we had the opportunity and to um, <coughs> not petition, but the yeah. they asked the school that they wanted to put off for a year the beginning of self-evaluation. So I put that in. I talked to Mr. Karen and based on both of us being new to, to look at academic programming. And uh, so that was approved. So we will start that self-evaluation, not this fall, but next fall. So it'll give us time to evaluate academic programs, things such as that. Um, today we had uh, New Hampshire theater um, mm -hmm. come and uh, it was dreamy again, which, which was, um, really the history of immigration in New Hampshire. And it was for the high school students. High school students were fantastic. They were well-behaved, respectful, attentive, engaged. And uh, I really liked it. I'm kind of a theater nerd in some ways. So, and I think it's a great experience for our kids and trying to do more of those things um, and get that culture out there. Um, and again, the kids did fantastic. Uh, Friday, New Hampshire Chronicles coming. Um, and uh, Chef uh, Kevin Deshane is, is coming. He's going to work in the life school group. Uh, New Hampshire Chronicles is going to be videoing kids, um, interviewing kids, and we're getting permissions from students. And then he's going to speak to the student body in the afternoon. So, uh, Really excited about that. And uh, I think there's a lot of positive <laughs> things going on. Karen stole my thunder. We had a student that got it in part of college, which is really incredible yeah. for a small school. And it has a great accomplishment. Um, I know my, my son tried to get into Dartmouth and didn't get in. So, but his mom made him try to get in. <laughs> but he was a top 10 kid. Um, and then Connor received a scholarship um from uh nhiaa 
uh, one of the top scholars for Division IV. Um, and I think, was that a $500 scholarship? Yes. Yeah, so again, some really good things coming out of a, a small high school in Hinsdale. So even though we, we hear a lot of negative sometimes, there's a lot of positives, and we really need to continue to promote that. Any questions? I just want to say I'm, I'm happy to have this survey mm -hmm. data, and I haven't had a chance to like really digest a lot of it, but I, it seems that this is going to be like a really great place to start working with behavioral support committee again. Mm -hmm. This is some of the information we're getting feedback from the kids yeah. on what's happening. Yeah. And I think we should use that. Yeah, it's, it's a the, small sample size, but yeah. we'll be doing the other survey, Karen, what's that? Oh, the Gallup poll. The Gallup poll survey. So yeah, right after April vacation, okay. that's part of the OSPC community requirement for our grant. So that um, focuses on um, students' feelings of home and belonging. Yeah. We did it last year. This year, we're going to do it 6 and 12, which we didn't. We just did not become lunches. So we'll have it. Um, that brought us some really good data also. Yeah. Um, and I think because we're expanding the amount of kids, I think it will have some more, some good data from that. So um, that I don't have them right after they did. And these quotes are fantastic. They have such good ideas. I know. <laughs> We should take all of their ideas into consideration. <laughs> and I think the one of the positives out of that is that they feel students feel connected with teachers, yeah. like eighty some percent. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was the there. best data there. I was like, yeah. oh, they yeah. all love their teachers. <laughs> yeah, and that's extremely important. Mm -hmm. so. um, may I make a comment? Sure. Mm -hmm. So this data is very important and good. <laughs> Sorry, but um. From memory, there was a bit of an issue with communication with the student body about the survey itself, the nature of it and such, and just um, communicating with the student body, the importance of it. And I think for future surveys, it would be important to be um, more coordinated because also um, there was some like uh, meetings scheduled for the same time as the survey. So certain students were split between two different things. So I think just um, more coordination with planning and greater communication with the student body would be helpful for a larger data set. Yeah, and this, this one was difficult, Connor, in the yeah. sense that I had to get permission for students to do it, but you're right. Mm -hmm. And those suggestions are great, mm -hmm. so yeah. I have one question. So this is a student survey. I know we talked about us doing a staff survey. We were going to, you were going to do it after the student survey. So um, what's the status of that? Are you just starting to think about that now? Well, I, I presented to the A team um, a potential staff survey. So we're still in the process of okay. getting that feedback. We can probably have that information for our next team. Okay. Yeah, because I yeah. remember that the board wanted yeah. a staff survey as well, but we were going to yeah. hold off. We can just do it one first. So. Yeah. And yeah, I, I pulled the survey from the New Hampshire Department, not New Hampshire, the U.S. Department okay. of Education. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Great. Thanks. Yep. Anybody got anything else for John? Okay. Uh, moving on to Joe. Uh, Perry, have my report. I wanted to say thank you for um, gathering all the reading math achievement information. It was hopeful to see that all together. <clears throat> Anybody else have anything? What was astronomy night? I missed that. That was um, the AGF grant. Fields. What did they do? Uh, they tried to look at the planets. The planets that were the timing, oh. or the planets were aligned in the west the night before they were still visible. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Try Mr. again. Thank you. Yeah. I would also like to note that the high school intro to astronomy class is alongside with that right, well, event. Well, cool. 
Um, I have a question about the ELA, ELA curriculum update. So, um, you know, that they're, they're still continuing to investigate it. When will that be? And it's in here. I'm sorry. I'm just reading it again. But when will that be? Like, are they going to have to? Because I know, like, when we did Fridges Math and stuff, they all had to present to the school board. Is that going to be the same with this? Like, um, when we switch a curriculum? We haven't gotten that far with, uh, with Mrs. Sturgis on that process yet. Um, the, right now in the stages of piloting it and um, informally I said you know we'll, we'll need some people to come to the board meeting okay cool. and um, you know Miss I think Miss Foster's on the line she said that yeah. she would be willing to do so so we're still moving along hoping to uh, get a decision by late by mid-June mid -June. all right cool you know it'll be late in the year by, by mid-June to be implemented next year in the fall and I, and I can just add to that that the pilot, they're piloting, they're at, we're looking at three different uh, programs. So they're going to be piloting two and then choosing from there. Um, and then, so to be ready to implement the fall. And so, are we providing training? How is training going to work out? Because So they're, they're getting pilot training right now. Okay. So they started their training for the pilots. And then we're going to work on rolling out the PD for all of the what when the new just the new curriculum is decided. Mm -hmm. And so will that happen before school? Do you think? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Well, we're we're looking at um, it's going to be a quick turnaround. Yeah. Um, in terms of you know once their decision is made, mm -hmm. getting the materials. Um, so we're working on getting the calendar in place of when we start training. Our hope is that we'd be able to get materials for them to be able to have to take home with them at least. In the summer, so they can mm -hmm. look it over and become familiar with it, yeah. and then do some training at the beginning of the school year. Yeah. Um, and you know, we also have the teacher, the teacher leaders that are doing some of the piloting that will help implement some of that. With them. So, um, it's a it's an intensive process, and Mister just has done an amazing job guiding the group through it. Feels a little fast to yeah. some people, um, <clears throat> but the teachers voted to move forward, mm -hmm. and I think we I think it was time. Yeah, I think it, it was time. Yep. So. So I have a question. So Joe said mid June, so that'll be after the school board meeting. When we did bridges, we had to approve it, right? When they presented, or was it approved by? Uh, they were just presenting this. I can't I think remember. Just presenting. Well, like who makes the policy? The yeah. Just the other day, and and um, it does indicate for our big curriculum like program changes, it should require school board approval. That's what I thought happened with bridges. It was I think bridges was the last one we really did because I remember like Donna and Paula and different yeah, people was... here. So mid June will be too late for the school board approval. So I, I mean, I don't know. Just pointing that out, and I just couldn't remember. It's been a while since we switched up a curriculum. Curriculum, mm -hmm. yeah. But if that's what the policy says, you know, we need to follow our policy. So maybe we could push that meeting back a week, so then yeah, it lined up. Yeah, we have to talk about that. Yeah, because we usually tend to. I know Kim's not available, but we usually tend to move the June one around. Depending right, on what graduation is, is the last one, and we see in July generally, and with graduation, graduation is like what the same certificate or something. Mm -hmm. So, so maybe we can visit revisit this in May at our May meeting. Yeah, and we don't no, have to meet on a Wednesday if that doesn't work. No, we could meet on a different day, on a different day later on in right. the second week or something. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm ready. No, I'm ready. Yeah. Anything else for Joe? Nope. No. Moving on to the technology report. Adam Terry, I have my report. Uh, I would just like to speak to the dashboards real quick that I mentioned. Um, the discipline and the attendance or ADA ADM information is live. I don't think the URL or the link to it uh, was communicated in time for this meeting, but it is live and we'll make sure you get, you get the link to that. Thank you. Now, on that, you know, because you know, the budget committee had questions about enrollment, whatever. Um, yep. Is there going to be an explanation of what ADA and what ADM is? Because I know they probably don't know it. Well, right now the page is only for it's the board. Us. Oh yeah, but I mean, when it when we do it, you know, just you know, when you put acronyms, they don't know what acronyms. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know? um, I mean, we know what it means. <laughs> I, I think I added it to the page, but okay. is there a plan to make that that website? The dashboard public public. Didn't they want some public thing? Weren't they, weren't they Not with they attendance wanted? and mm -hmm. discipline. No, believe yeah. me, the budget. Well, when the budget, I know Ken said it that morning. 
Yeah, well, I would just say up, that's not a problem. Well, he came up because they wanted to know. The discussion with Ken around attendance okay. was that we had too many numbers floating around during the process. Okay. And for us to really focus on one number, I oh, think okay. that further discussions that I had with the different uh, budget committee members during, throughout the day, okay. it was kind of a given that we go with October 1st number. Oh, good. Because that's why I report to the DOE okay. in my beginning of year report. It's what all the state reports are generated using. Yeah. And we just, you know, we can put a little asterisk next time, next time, anytime we use that, it may fluctuate but, right. 25 yeah. days throughout yeah. the year. Awesome. We never have a huge fluctuation. Um, what this report or this dashboard will show, um, and there's three different graphs for each attendance report. They'll have, it's a line graph with average daily membership, which is the enrollment number for, those, for that school. And then below it is a line that shows the trend in um, actual attendance. Which is kind of interesting to just look at because you can almost spot when our vacations are yeah. <laughs> a day or two before um it's often lower um and then i have it broken down by month and also by day of the week so you can see uh, you know if you want really care to see what days what day is fridays, <laughs> yeah, fridays. Yeah. no not really um and then i don't know i don't, no. I don't think we want to make no. That might be too much information for for the yeah. budget committee yeah. Yeah. over time. No, so th those numbers are going to get confusing when we're trying to figure out total enrollment and yeah. cost and just per pupil yeah. and then every yeah. other yeah. calculation. Yeah, awesome. yeah just Anybody as long as you really... think that did. And I had it with everything going on at district meeting. I didn't see where everything landed after that discussion because I yeah. went off and did some other stuff. So right. awesome. That yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah, I made, I made good notes of what, what we discussed on that day. So come the budget cycle next year. Yeah. Um, I'll <laughs> be able to make some recommendations. And that, that dashboard is is uh, intended to be a tool for the board mm -hmm. in terms of you know monitoring some you know twenty thousand foot data mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know helping us to make mid course corrections yeah. um, if we need to, looking at the level of discipline uh, behaviors that that we address you know on a on a on a weekly basis or monthly basis. Um, you know, uh, Jody and I talked a little bit more about uh, free and reduced lunch numbers, which are important numbers for us to, to look at. I think that would be a, a great thing to add. Uh, to we your... used to have Deb report on that to us. Yeah. 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 That'll be a consideration with advocating for free mm -hmm. lunch. Yeah. I wonder how that'll impact. Yeah. But so it's an internal dashboard, not yeah. an, an, to the public right. dashboard. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Great, thank you both. I can confirm I that the last meeting of the budget committee was the October 1st date. That they were, it was so confusing with all the different numbers we gave them because we gave them the number when they asked for the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we we all agreed as a group that October 1st would be the date numbers of numbers we would give them and that would be the consistent number we would give them when they asked if they asked again. And, and next year, as well. yeah. I, I plan to have, um, that budget notebook for them all created much earlier. So um, it'll be all good to go. I'm going to have October 1 numbers. I, you know, but, but if they ask me questions later, just always and I don't have that October number available, then, you know, I, I have to be easy to, I mean, I, to I, memory. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is it. Every time you ask, this is it. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> this is it. This is what we decided on. Doesn't matter what right. it is today. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else for Justin? Nope. Thank you, Justin. Uh, human resources. Sarah. I, I excused Sarah uh, from this meeting. Mm -hmm. And um, but if you have any questions on, on staffing, um, please ask, and uh, I'll make up an answer. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll I'll get the answer my, for you. My only question was, I thought I heard we had. Um, hired a middle school baseball coach. Did I did the same thing. I, I heard that too. It's so those are positions. Oh, yeah, I, I missed that part. I did the same thing. So we did. It's, it's very small up there. It is very so small. I did the same thing. Okay, then good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, then we did. The answer is yes, we did yeah. fill that position. <laughs> Perfect. So I was like, why is it still listed here? Okay. Anything else from anybody? I think we're good with that report. Um, new board business. Did we? Maria handed out. I sent her yeah. this list of committees stuff that I had. 
and I updated it. Um, this is from a, we get this every year, so I, I had last year, so I just updated. She put it at, at your place. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's in your yeah. stack here. here. This the committee assignment. Yeah. Is that what we're yeah. talking about? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I I found it in my in my files and I just updated it with our current committees. So yeah. you want to share through it? Share yeah. with me, please. Mm -hmm. You don't have it. Here, you want mine? Cause I printed mine off at home. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Put it in my book, so I've got it. It will look familiar. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we need to um, do board committee assignments. You wanna just go down a list yep. and do that? Let's do it. So the first one is uh, personnel committee. Negotiations. Right. I'd like yeah. to be on that. I don't know if uh, anybody else wants to no, do I was, that. I, I would like to do that just because um, I, Gina and I are the only ones who've been negotiated on the, currently on the board and, and April needs to learn it because Gina and I are going off. So. I think April and I would be good. Um, That's what I was looking at. I don't think I can do it this year anyway. Because I'm, yeah. You need really to have an experience to go, one at least, well, one yeah, experience negotiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't do it. That's the poor staff. Yeah. 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 Okay. April and Holly. So do we need a vote to approve that? No. Or do we just going to say just, that that's what we're simple. doing? Okay. So I'm happy to stay on health and wellness. Okay. Does anybody want to join me? Yeah, I can do healthy moments. Gina and Kayla. Yeah. I will be happy to not be the alternate on the budget committee. I would like to still be on the <laughs> budget committee. I think Kayla should be on the budget committee. Yeah. So she was on the budget yeah. committee. Oh, budget oh, committee. We poached you from the budget committee. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, I can do the budget committee if you, you would just have. be back up Ooh, anyway in case I can go. Okay, let Kendra do it. Kendra. All right. Yeah. And then staff development. I'm on it, but I'm willing to give it up. I have other things to do. Um, this one is right up here. I would like to yeah. be on this one. Yeah, it's just an alternate. If Kayla can't make it, then you would go kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you meet during the day? I don't know what your like mm -hmm. right after school generally. Yeah. About yeah. Four. What time? Three, oh, four or four. Yeah. Two forty five ish. So was so it Kayla and Kayla? Emily could live if I couldn't make it. Fine. Okay. Is it is it Kayla Kendra? Yeah. Cool. I hope she saw you said that. <laughs> I will text her and tell her I said it. <laughs> um, legislative. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to stay on that since I'm the president of the NHSBA. I, I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Personally, everybody good with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Hass. Oh, I'll do Hass. I would like to not be the alternate because once we move our meetings up to six, I can't. We make it before because I'll get out of work till five. So yeah. I'll go off of that. Okay. Um, do you want to be the primary? Sure. Okay. Does anybody else want to be the alternate? You can be alternate. Kayla April. I mean Kendra April. Yep. Yeah. April is that good? Okay. For you? That's fine. I don't mind being alternate. Cool. Go ahead. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, selectman. No, I would like to go off this. I have, I, I have trouble on Monday nights. Anyway, Sean always went anyhow, and like the one or two times I couldn't make it. Yeah, it no. I was going to say, if I wasn't chair, I might do this one, but. I, you only have to go. Now, Sean went to every meeting, which is not what you have to do. If you read the description, this is how it always was. And I love you, Sean. I know you're there. But, um, <laughs> he you, set the bar really high. He did. You only have to attend the meeting, uh, the after the after the selection meeting after our monthly meeting, or what would happen in our monthly meeting. You can go to so one a month. One, two, three. You can oh. go to two, three, four if you want, but you need to just make it to that one after our meeting to report on what happened. But like I said, Sean, oh, Sean set the ball. Far high. I know that's. I was like, I am not committing to yeah. anything <laughs> because you know they get paid three times our stipends. Yeah. Why should we go to all their meetings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but anyway, but I still don't want to do it. <laughs> so any volunteers? Very busy. Oh, fine. <laughs> Kayla? Okay. I heard Kayla. Oh. Wonderful. Alternate? Maybe anybody who's available, like if you know you can't go, just put it just out. Just let us know. Okay. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm just going to put anyone. Yeah, that's what I want. Mean. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. Right, yeah. You know how it goes. Blood whistle for it. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. We have a selection on there. <laughs> uh, facilities, I would like to do this. Oh, sweet. Wow. Yeah. All right. You know what? This is the only one I've never done in my 14 years on the board. Oh, holy. So um, I don't think that's maybe great... I should. Does it you have to meet during the day? Because that's hard. Um, I know that well, Sean did. Have to I'm really Fridays, flexible, so that's why I, I could try if I had enough notice. I'll try. So Holly, me and Holly? Yeah. It's the only one I've never done. Community connections. I would like to. Yeah, you and I. Have I would like group. to stay. Uh, April, April and I have, have a good group. Though. Everybody's okay with that. Mm -hmm. I would like to keep behavioral support. I would love for Kayla to join me, and uh, we could band back together. Again. Yep, I agree. <laughs> hey, we started this. It's yeah, true, right? Yeah. Uh, joint loss committee. Again, I'm on this, but I don't mind giving it up if someone else would like to do it. Mm -mm. It's a quarterly one. So yeah, it's, you know. they, it's not very time consuming. I mean, I'll do it if nobody else wants to do it. But how many committees you got? And I'm, I'm, I was just looking. <laughs> I was just, I was like, oh. um, uh, well, one main and then two in case other people can't go. <sighs> I think this one meets during the day too, don't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one meets during the day. Oh, At what time? Usually, like two, two yeah, it's like two, two fifteen. It lasts about an You can hour zoom, into, max. zoom into it too because I used to zoom into our teams or whatever. I can do two fifteen, isn't bad for me. I can yeah. do it. You want to do it? And what did you say, Chris? That lasts an hour, yeah, it, no more generally. Hour, the, the longest I think you've been in there is like 45 minutes, yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. So then I can just go to the free spell and grab my okay. Yep, that works. All right, policy committee. I'd like to stay on that one, okay. I'm good with that. Anybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. uh, superintendent search committee. You and I should stay because we did all, all the work. work. <laughs> and yeah. we are totally in sync, apparently. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would agree with that. Is that one that's okay with everybody? <laughs> uh, tuition exploratory committee. Gina, I like to Gina and I started this book. You, you can stay on it. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't oh. want to know. <laughs> I'm just pointing out we we started it back in 2019. Way back, but we don't way back I don't mind staying on it unless okay. I mean I really don't. Okay, so Gina and Kendra. Mm -hmm. Cool. And no Holly. No, I don't do it too. I do have, however, and when we maybe if you're not probably going to talk about it, I found the in my files the uh, ad that went out to mm -hmm. solicit residents. You just yeah. have to take off Andy Oreo and put in Maria. Um, yep, pretty much. And I have, uh, so I'm just going to wave it around. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, also the makeup of the committee well, that we had. It can right. always change, but we could talk about that. You know, we can want to talk about it and not. We start but, again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. That's all the committees. Did we forget anything? I don't think so. Got your name on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. And Maria will send out emails to update. All the new members with the meeting times um, coming up. And I didn't know the meeting times were going to change based on new members because um, some of them were waiting to see. You know, well, then if that, yeah, if that's the case with the chair of those committees, you can, you can just send that out. But that way everybody has the information that they have for their new committees. Thank you. And should I just connect with Sean and ask what I need to do for selection since he did it? I can't hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, because I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to bring or anything. You just, uh, from what I remember, and like, you know, you tend to connect with him, just yeah. take notes, and then I don't know even if they used to call on him, and he would just say, This is what happened. But he went every week. So, right. I'm not really, doing that. No. <laughs> so, I mean, generally, when I did it way back before, before Sean joined our merry band, um, I would go and I'd say, This is what happened at okay. the school board yeah. meeting. Okay. You know? So, I'll just, I'll call Sean. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then dial it down a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then do my version. Right, yeah. do your yeah. Kayla version. Again, Sean, hi. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. All right. So now that's done. Vacancies, moderator and school district for the Hinsdale SAU. Yes, thank you. Is this informational, Maria? I mean, we have to do anything. I don't think we have to do anything with it, right? You just have to post, just it. Have to post it. Thank you, or save the links and all that. And then um, I believe it goes in the newspaper. Well, I'll I, tell you something. I am confused because um, the town administrator mentioned that she had thought of the town clerk handled this. She emailed that. So I guess I do need to clarify who. As far as posting it, yes, I don't know. Anne posted when we had a moderator opening before Anne right. Diorio did it, so did. Uh, that's what that's what my re recollection oh, was. She was the clerk, school she staff would be school, yeah. Um, she was the clerk, from right? The clerk at the time, yeah. So, I, if if, if Kat, you're talking Catherine, if Catherine, I don't see why Catherine shouldn't do it if she wants to do it. So we don't have a clerk, clerk right? So I'll right. double check, I'll yeah. double check and make sure because I don't want to like. Post if they are. Yeah, that's my thought. Is that you know maybe yeah, because Anne was clear she did it, and this is where you have both positions open. Is it beneficial to post this on community connections? Yeah, too? Would, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> but if she, if Catherine's going to post it, so you say you know contact you for the clerk. She did, she you to have that be Catherine. Right, so yeah, I'm so just to clarify, about, yeah. yeah, talk with her, I guess, and then get it to me in April, April and uh, and me, and we will post it. All right. So if anybody in the audience is interested, mm -hmm. <laughs> we need a moderator and a district clerk. There is a Ooh. stipend for the clerk. I don't think there is one for the moderator. No. I thought there was. I was going to say, that's I, the one that should have a no, I, I don't believe so. Is a clerk, clerk is 300, I think. The treasurer's 1,200. Hmm. I don't know. It's that long ago. I could be wrong, but I, I looked and I didn't see that there was one for the moderator. Did you see the moderator? I think it's, in I our, think it's 200 I for the moderator. Yeah. Okay. Because I looked in the RSA. But you, you, there might maybe we decided years ago to do one for the moderator. Be, looking like, at yeah. past history, we've we've paid, I think, 200. 200, okay. So 200, 300, 1,200. Yeah. Great. All right. And then um, acceptance of the annual audit report. It's a lot of yeah, it's a little dense. I it's really dense that. from the You're language. Really I read like, everything. Okay, like they're you talking in circles. Things. The this packet. Mm -hmm. Chef, we did you got in the mail? Yeah, I got it in the mail yesterday. Well, usually I get it by Saturday. Yeah, well, you know, I got it yesterday as well. I delivered it Saturday. I, I check my mail every day. I delivered your mail Saturday. <laughs> every day I check my mail. Saturday. And this was the and then I had two I had two things in my mail. I delivered the mail Saturday. And Monday when I went back, it was still oh, oh so it's my mail every day. It's on my calendar. I delivered your mail. I did it. I, <laughs> I delivered this week, so I know. Did you use UPS informed delivery? It was going to that wouldn't go because it's in the regular mail. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, never mind. That's where we delivered them on Saturdays before the mail. It's going to be a oh, first night. <laughs> I know, I didn't think I got mine either, but I mean, I don't ever remember to check my mail. We had to get a bigger mailbox. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't say for sure. <laughs> All right. So we need a motion to accept the annual audit report. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion on the annual report? Anything you want to share, Joan? It's it's pretty just what we've already discussed about the June. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the June um, something that they picked up on audit. Uh, they do a random look, and I did put it in my report. They do a random look, and because we didn't, you don't meet in July, mm -hmm. the June payroll manifest wasn't signed up. I brought it with me in case you wanted to see it. Um, but I think that we'll button that up this year by either, you know, it, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, we can either, I don't know, we can either do it in the audit meeting, or we can do it through the mail. They're coming in in September this year to audit. Oh, this year, yeah, so, rather so, than deal with yeah, instead of having a special meeting, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to. Know, I don't do that. I want you to have to do that. But right. we'll figure out a way, maybe email right. or just let me we'll know. Figure it out however you'd like. <laughs> maybe for this coming year, we'll just plan on it for August mm -hmm. at the August meeting, and then yeah, mm -hmm. see how it goes from there. That works. That works. Okay. Um, all in favor of accepting the annual report? Is that uh, uh, Fine. Um, Any objections? No. Uh, report is accepted. Next is the SR two and three revisions, which we just got. Okay, so okay. yeah, so there's information in front of you on the ESSER grant, yeah. um, the COVID money that the federal government um, granted to every public school district in the country. Um, so there's a lot of information there, but uh, there are a couple of things that um, I understand in the past that you approved or um, uh, approved expenditures. So in the SR2 grant, um, re we're requesting uh, the available SR2 funds to be used for cameras in the middle high school building at an estimated cost of $23,000. Um, and, you know, John can speak to speak to that a little bit more. Um, if you have any questions. And we talked about this during the budget process, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I have no questions. We asked them then. Yeah, no, I think, I think it's valuable to have cameras in the hall always um, with the increased behaviors that we've seen. And it's just very helpful um, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, any motion to approve this for us or two? I'll make a motion. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. And then in the uh, SR3 funds, um, there are several uh, requested amounts there. The English language arts curriculum, um, we're looking to use ESSER funds to pay for that at $130,000. Um, the BEST program, which is the program that helps us keep students in district um, instead of paying for the expensive, very expensive out of district placements. Uh, so we have money in there for behavioral consultant. Uh, responsive classroom program at the middle school. Um, some funding uh, for that program, the HVAC. Um, the uh, portrait of a graduate work. Uh, we think that it's uh, very important. This, this would be engaging our community on what they think that a graduate from Hinsdale High School should look like. What kind of skills and, and education uh, training uh, should they have? Um, uh, in terms of graduation from, from high school. Um, so we would con want to contract with an outside agency to help us facilitate uh, those conversations with the community. Um, and then um, continuing to help with our sub pay uh, uh, where we can be competitive a little bit and attract subs to help us with day-to-day uh, -day classroom stuff. And the COVID custodian continuing that in the 23-24 school year. Um, you know, and that's, that's a position that we're going to have to look at next year. Um, but um, those are requested amounts. I don't know if the principals have any comments on any of those areas or if you have questions yeah. on any of those areas. I think the responsive classroom for the middle school is really important using the same language. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's beyond curriculum. It's just being consistent regarding behavioral concerns and things like that. And the teachers, all the middle school teachers would be trained. There would be four professional develop, development days throughout the year. Um, and uh, they, they come and consult with them. So. And that's just for middle school? It's, yeah, grade six through eight. That's where people mm -hmm. focus on. It goes in elementary school also. Yeah, that. But at least for the middle school six through eight. I just want to make a comment about Portrait of the Graduate, just for um, Kayla and Kendra. When we did our goal setting this last time, um, we discussed, you know, 
got not super in depth, but pretty in depth about the portrait of graduate portrait of a learner, um, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, portrait of a pacer. Yeah, whatever. We threw around some stuff. So, so that ties in sort of with our goals. Yeah, and we felt it was important um, and timely. Also, um, the work that we we, we looked at having the actual audience here work with us, and they've done this. I think it, frankly, I was just to say, frankly, they have a whole big thing on their website yeah, about they, it. Yeah, they do a, a whole year process where they engage. Mm -hmm. Core district planning team uh, stakeholders from the community. They they try to engage hundred okay. stakeholders. Oh wow! Um, they do a, a a team made up of community stakeholders, um, and it really ends up with a a, a, a district wide vision of what we want our students to, when they walk across it. Things like what's behind that handshake, mm -hmm. and it comes from yeah, all right. stakeholders, not just us in this room. Mm -hmm. um, and they've done it pretty successfully. They even work with teams, with schools, with, with students to design the logo of the portrait. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just been pretty effective. I know that Franklin has been really great success. It's great success with it, with it yeah. And yeah. Franklin's not, they're bigger than us, but they're not hugely bigger. Like Dover's a lot bigger, but yeah. Franklin's probably not quite double. I want to say maybe they have a thousand students or yeah. so yeah. At, at the most. Um, so yeah. yeah. And, and similar socioeconomically too, I guess. Yes. I guess similar socioeconomically to us. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Your motion to accept. I'll make that. Oh, I'll make that motion. <laughs> so I haven't been able to make motions <laughs> usually, so I'm making all the motions. Right. Right. Yeah. All second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. All right. Sorry, I was waiting for you. <laughs> That's mine. Um, uh, student board member items. Uh, hello. In the back of your packets, there's a proposal written up by our um, president of this diversity club proposing for um, banners to have the preferred names of students as opposed to their dead names and we just needed board approval so i have a question i don't know if yes. it's like him or whatever but is this a school board issue or is this administrative to do this i know there's some discussion not about banners but um i mean i was at the national convention this the past week last week and just the you know parents schools using things with with their preferred name and parents not knowing and you know what I mean that I whole issue and I don't know necessarily I mean and then pass it off to you guys if it's a school board if this is in the purview of the school board because we didn't approve keeping the banners you know we, we had the one year and there was discussion of keeping the banners, the COVID thing with the banners mm -hmm. and then we didn't approve it we left it to the administration if there was money to keep continuing it we didn't approve that so I'm, I'm not sure I mean I, I I'm fine either way I just want to see whose purview it's in I'm not sure, um, you know, about that. But uh, John and I talked about um, um, having some discussions, you know, about how it would work. Uh, we had some of the some similar concerns, um, you know, making sure that uh, families are aware of of any any changes that we make, um, and uh, kind of get our, all of our ducks in a row on that and what it would look like uh, going forward. So, um, hmm, I think I, I would want to get clarification, uh, maybe from Matt Upton about, you know, where does this decision belong? Um, when do the banners need to be ordered? Probably not before the main meeting, I wouldn't think. I don't know. I don't know. Last year, let's get close. Yeah. If I may speak. Oh. So, there's two, there's two pieces to this. First of all, we have to talk with the town. To make sure they're willing to do that mm -hmm. because my understanding and i could be wrong the town took care of putting up taking down the other banners mm -hmm. and, and putting up the student banners and then the next piece is budget mm -hmm. um and i know this was done you know a lot of schools did this with these banners because of the pandemic mm -hmm. but is it now become a tradition yeah you know um or do yeah, we go back to school so normal i thought it was yeah. great when i drove up here yeah. in an interview yeah. very nice but um i prefer i mean yes we would need to order the banners relatively soon but we also need to make sure the town is 
willing to assist us with this. Yeah. So I, in my opinion, I think we need to do a little more. Yeah. Have some know, exploring of it. Yeah. Yeah. And can I just say for the name though, like most of our seniors are 18 or close to that. it. And if it's their preferred name, I don't think their family has a say. Well, uh, that, but when you're 18 and you're in school, yes, they do. Right. But Kim? not for your banner. No, no, I'm saying in general, right? In well, general, they're 18, they're an adult. That is a huge gray area. Okay. okay. <laughs> you can find yourself out when you turn 18. Yeah, but you, there's other things that you need parental permission yeah. for when you're 18. Yeah. So, I think yeah. the banner, though, yeah. for an 18 year old student yeah, or close yeah. to it is their choice that's just I, my yeah, opinion i, think, I would I think agree there is a lot of great that would be a mad object question for an yeah. 18 year old <laughs> that, know, that, that's, that, i'm not prepared to to really make a decision you know on that i want to get uh yeah. all of our ducks in a row and have some conversations talk with matt yeah. up in and, okay. and uh, make sure we're on good um uh, firm footing um before we move forward with that so that's okay i think mm -hmm. you know we would do that and then if we need, if 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 our attorney advises us that it needs board uh, blessing, um, then we'll get that. Um, what do the teachers call these students that have these other names? Are they going by their legal names or are they calling them by their preferred name? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? Um, John? I slip off, but I try to do their preferred you, name. Out of respect for them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So, I mean, because I'll, I mean, I had a student the other day and I said, what can you go by this name? And I said, yeah. I said, okay. But again, I slip up sometimes too. And then I can try to I apologize. Yeah. You know, yeah. I feel like too, you in a yearbook, usually on these senior yearbooks, you put nicknames or you put other names. It just yeah. seems like if you're doing it out of respect inside of this building, yeah. then it's out of respect right. on whatever they're choosing to do. I mean, they're they're graduating mm -hmm. high school, they're done. I mean, their parents, if their parents don't <laughs> accept it, their parents don't accept it, that's who they are and that's the name that they pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's worth asking it though, just legally, because I know this was a discussion, not banners, but of, of that conference in the national, but we did actually, now we're saying this, uh, we did approve um, before, uh, a couple months ago, um, students wearing the gown color of their choice. Mm -hmm. So that also sort of oh. feeds in. I never even thought about it yeah. then. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So, so we, I personally run into the issue where a student with a preferred name wishes to be called this name, but do not say it to my parents. My mm -hmm. parents mm -hmm. Do not tell them. Yeah. I don't want them to know. We have run into that issue as well. I know in our mm -hmm. PD day, this did come up, this very thing. And the Wood, Drummond and Woodson yeah. mentioned that we have to have a conversation with a child, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. student rather, not at that age or not child. And we have to have that conversation with a student. Mm -hmm. And it's going to spark a bigger conversation. How do we broach this topic with your family? Mm -hmm. When you when we put the names on the banners, are the kids, are the students filling out the banners and this correct spelling and their names, or are you guys just filling them in? Who fills them in for the banners? So, so just like with the diploma, we make sure we get the correct spelling that the student wants. So, so it's the student you show to the student. Yeah, well, yeah, we ask them yeah. how to make sure we spell it right. correctly. Yeah, right. But and again, I experienced this where we had a, a national honor society meeting, and on the program we put the students. I'll call it legal name. Um, no, we didn't. We put their preferred name. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I get this correct. And the grandparents were at this induction. And they had no idea. Thankfully, everybody was pretty okay. Parents do, but they never told the grandparents. Mm. So it, it is a yes, it can much be bigger issue, yeah. sensitive issue. Yeah. I think if the child's willing to have it come out yeah. that way, and it's there out of respect for themselves, and they're coming into their own at this mm -hmm. point, it, and they're willing to do it, then that's what's important, and we should be respecting their mm -hmm. And what I they're agree. putting yeah, out, I agree. Right. And, and and who are we to shoot them down when they're taking that brave step to mm -hmm. put that name out there, especially if their parents are not accepting them for who they are already, and right. they're willing to do that out in public. So I mean, I agree hundred percent. I just want to make sure we're right. sound legally, so we it doesn't come back on us. We, we can't, can't open ourselves up to liability. Yeah, it's my question. Yeah. It's going to be the student's choice mm -hmm. of what name goes on that banner. Yeah. I would think so. Right. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that's, is that the, that's the yeah. better. Yeah. Okay. And I yeah. think that should be the case, like dead name, preferred name, all of right. that aside. 
if someone wanted a nickname, would we say no? Yeah, like Mike versus Michael. Right. Like, would we say no, you have to have your legal name. Right, right. I think it's, <laughs> yeah. that's the same line. Same, same, same process. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. We'll just uh, give me the opportunity to make sure we have all our ducks in a row, that we're fine. Um, and then uh, if we need board blessing, then we'll come back and get it. If not, just we'll just, yeah, just, just let you know. Okay. Uh, no other proposals were brought forward to me, but if you have any questions as pertaining to the student population, feel free to ask. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. Thank you. Did you get your driver's license? Mm, I just did the written test okay. today. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> Close. Thank you. Yeah. Nothing else happening? Uh, nothing of note, really. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Connor. Thank you. Um, we are on other business. I just had something. Um, there was a a post about Trinity Stroud's um, sensory thing for the elementary school. And then there was a link to the letter, pictures of the letter. Nowhere in the letter does it say where to send donations. There's an address at the front, but that's not exactly, it doesn't say send donations you know, here. We don't give much, but we don't know how. Right. Um, yeah. I'm surprised I was like, well, can't it, do that before. Yeah. And I think based on the crowdfunding policy that we developed a few months back, that if it goes to the elementary school, depending on the amount size, it has to be accepted by the principal. If it was over a certain amount size, it would have to be accepted by the superintendent. So over a certain other amount, I think it would have to be approved by teachers. I think that was for teachers. Since this is through ELO, a student, right? Does that fall under it? Yeah. Good yeah. thought. Good thought. But that, I think it's teachers. And that's where the, I think the gray area came in. Yeah. Where did this fall under? Because it is the ELO. However, right. it would be a group that would be funding this project. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where the discrepancy is. So is the address that's on the letter where the, the, the elementary school, because that's the elementary school is the address that's on the letter. I didn't know if it should come to the high school because she's a high school student or if it should go to the elementary school because that's what the project was. And, and I think, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's and I question. think that was a part of the bigger discussion based on when we felt that that policy of where you're supposed to go. Right. And I, I think it would go to the the site because the donation would be towards the elementary school, so that okay. it would go to Joe first. So the address on the letter that's at the beginning of the letter is where people should send it. donations. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Because uh, this is my understanding when I posted it is that the money is to go to um, the ELO sponsor. And I think it said that in her letter. Okay. Like um, what I, I asked her to give me blur that she gave me like the letter. Right. You want to go before I finish it? No, my understanding is it goes to the sponsor mm -hmm. so that she can get money for the materials, and then the donation is actually the finished product that goes. So it's not really you know what I mean? that's my understanding, and it falls under the student uh, fundraising activities, which is a different policy, right? And in a perfect Sorry. world, that's exactly what we do. However, we did receive a donation from um, a local business. They did not want to write a check to Elite Vinyl because they're using it as a charitable contribution. So they wanted to give the check to mm. us. Mm. So it was, it was a check for 250, so it fell below the amount. Mm. I accepted the check, but I really, I'm really glad we're having this conversation mm. about yeah, it. It felt squishy it. to yeah, me. Yeah. That did yeah. come up when we were going advising that policy mm -hmm. about tax rate loss. Yeah. We figured that that would come up at one point. Do you remember talking about that? Yeah, and that did come up. And now we're seeing it in action. So, in my opinion, I guess, if somebody wants to write it to the school for the purpose of that, then we can just pass it through. But I want to make sure you guys are, know about it and Cool. Well, I wanted so, to make a community connections post about it, and then I was looking at the letter. And I'm like, well, it doesn't really say specifically where to send the donations, so I'm just going to ask at the meeting before I post anything, mm -hmm. so I can give clear instructions on where to send the money if they want to donate. And so I have a good relationship with that student. I can ask them tomorrow, and then I can send that would email be, to the to somebody on the board or that, to Maria. They could get it. Yes, we Maria, can clarify yeah. where donations should be sent. That would be cool. So yeah, that would be great. Well, what is the total yeah. that she's trying to raise? You know, the last today I got an update, which is fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. 
And I have, does that include the 250 that I have? I'm yeah. not sure. Okay. Not sure. I like, and I mean, it might not be the right way to do it, but I like the, the school for the purpose of that and the yeah. school path of it to elite rather than mm -hmm. donating it, you know, writing a check to elite. But I guess if you're not using it as a write off or something, there's no need really need to do that. Yeah. I mean, but individual donors aren't, you know, Charitable contributions is kind of a thing of the past on, on individuals' yeah, tax returns, really, but yeah. unless you're unless you're doing manual itemizing, which is hard to do these days. Yeah. But businesses would prefer that, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm. Um, I think businesses will be easier if you're looking for a large amount. Right. All right. So we'll get clarification on that. Perfect. Did anybody else have any other business? Yes. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yeah. And again, this is not my style of all of a sudden last minute, but uh, we've restarted the travel club. I heard. Yeah. And I mean, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have quite a few students, that 18 students that would like to, to go to Puerto Rico. Um, originally, they wanted to try to do it next April. And I said, we really need to put that off because it's a large amount of fundraising. You know, over three thousand dollars, and I don't know if you have this. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we do. Um, and they would do it during April vacation, and then there's twelve adults. They would also contain their own way to go to their chaperones. Um, and they, if they can book it by May first, they get locked in there, reduced um, price rate. Uh, and again, fundraising over two years seems more doable. Um, I originally was not uh, in favor, again, it's a lot of money for a family to, to raise for their, for their students. Um, but over two years, um, and uh, our advisors, who are County Stebbins and Christina Wallace, are really go-getters. And so I think they can, they can do it. Um, the one piece we don't have in this packet Believe is the actual form that needs to be given to the school board with even more detail for an extended over well, overnight overnight yeah, trip. Right. yeah. that policy yeah um, <clears throat> but that's kind of where we're at we got the itinerary um and I would have preferred to wait till the May board meeting but then the price is going to go up right so we can still get that paperwork to you the official paperwork. Okay. And I believe can approve this trip so we can start. Yeah, they Are they going to be doing, and you don't know this, I'm sure, but Cookies and Canvas fundraising? That was their big one of their, uh, the, it was Cookies and Canvas. Canvas. It was paint night, but with cookies because you can't have wine and sip and paint at school. So it would be exactly. cookies. And it was all, it was always a great one. They would bring somebody in and they'd do, you know, yeah. the painting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what. Yeah. Put a bug in there. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Canvas. Sounds fun to me. It was. That was what. Alexis went on one of these trips and it was. She loved it. So, and yeah, that's it. again, it's an opportunity for students to go beyond Hinsdale. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So right. Anytime we can have them yeah. experience other countries, other cultures, I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. so do we need a motion to accept this? I'll make the motion to accept um, to approve the uh, trip to Puerto Rico. Go. A second. Any more discussion? No. Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Just a reminder to put it on the agenda to get the real May. paperwork yeah, for, next for month. The yeah. 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 Just so we don't forget. Uh, any other business? <laughs> Yeah. Moving on, committee reports. <clears throat> now Sean and Julia are <laughs> over here. here. And they took the Sorry, that's true. Yeah, Sean, did you do anything to bring no, no. Sean, did you have anything to report on? Sean is getting pulled into this meeting so much. Whatever he wants to. Really wants to <laughs> um, health and wellness. Um, we had a team's meeting few months ago and I think we elected officers. I had to leave the meeting because I had another meeting and I think Joe was trying to 
make me the chair of the committee, but I don't think that went through. <laughs> so my friend was defeated at the last. Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so close. I don't know. I ended up being chair. Oh, Joe. And Mary Lynn Cross and the new elementary nurse was the co chair. Oh, that's good. Katie Leonard is the secretary. Great. And we don't have any money, so there's no pressure. Right. I believe uh, Brenda Ebbinghausen is the building representative of the elementary school. And I think. Did we have another meeting, sir? We have another meeting, but I don't know. Get my bones. Can you say how often does this one meet? It's meeting quarterly, but we're also going to have a subcommittee for a health fair that will meet a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. Have another health fair. Get all the dates down. <laughs> you may get back into it. You remember yeah. how your calendar was? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Fill that calendar. I have to say, she still, I love that. Mm -hmm. no, I have to. I, love that. I won't remember yeah. everything. Yeah. She had the best plan. Yeah. <laughs> Do we want to move on and wait for Joe to find a date? <laughs> yeah. Somebody want to call Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it. Okay. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get to it. Um, finance budget committee. I think we spoke think we a lot to the last meeting we had with them with the budget committee. So I don't think there's any other information there. Um, staff development. Next meeting is June seventh at three forty-five, and we met on March twenty-second. Did you say at three forty-five? Three forty-five. June seventh. And where do they meet? Usually here. Here. <clears throat> and they were just going over PD and what types of PD we were gonna um that we wanted to offer based on feedback from a from staff. From yeah, from the last PD day. So um I think at the next meeting we were to where we're gonna get more information about that information. But well, we will have had the next PD day by then. So by then. we will have plans based on yeah. Um, let's see, that was staff development legislative. Um, so uh I went to the um COSBA National Conference, which you know is the national group that NHSBA belongs to, so and I'm on their board, and um and it was in Tampa last week, and so I don't have anything tonight. I have other stuff, but, you know, interesting stuff I can bring back. Um and then um there's gonna be another board meeting in Charlotte in june um but uh yeah it was it was great there was, there was tons of tons of sessions and some some really good stuff i've got some first amendment stuff i have some like uh public social media things kind of that i think would be helpful i went to some of those sessions um legislation um i didn't take a look at the latest legislative <laughs> email that we get um and i think hopefully you guys got maybe on there you started receiving stuff from any yeah, yeah, yeah. i know maria was passing it along so it might take amanda up there to get her you know, so. in a little bit you did okay. well i would have a long list of like stuff that's going to legislation right now there. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's like a monday yeah. thing and then there's the legislative piece of that one yeah. but i know amanda's getting at, at nhsp is getting everybody new, new board members on those so yeah i don't um, think i've gotten any yet. okay Speaking of what? Orientation. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we have, um, and I sent the link out, we have mm -hmm. the new board member orientation on, there, there's two sessions, the same session. Um, it was um, April 10th, I want to say, and May 2nd. So do I have to do that again? There's new stuff in it since COVID. So, and it's all the webinar now. You don't have to go oh, like, you know, really? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. You know, but um, which is good. yeah, but it's a webinar. But um, yeah, and and you used to have to like sign up through um, mm -hmm. Anne would then sign up up with Amanda, but you can just click on the thing mm -hmm. on the link to say register because um, we're where you subscribe to their uh, subscription service. So um, just and fill it all out, and they'll send you a link. Um, Maria might get something saying I'm April not sure if it does anymore. You know that your what April tenth and May second. Yeah, April tenth and May second. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, yeah, so that yeah, I forwarded that. that yeah, because yeah. I sent you guys that too. But yeah. yeah, so that's always good. Um, I'm not sure. I might. I talk with Barry. I might present it. That I'm not sure yet. So I'm not sure which one. So you might see me on the screen. But 
that's very helpful. And then I sent you out the roles and responsibility mm -hmm. um, training. Um, and um, I can talk to Barrett. I'm not sure they're they're super busy right now because of legislature, but to see about even coming and doing some training. Um, but to start off with the, the new board member training and that roles and responsibility thing that I sent out, and I think that would be a good start to so we could maybe get get somebody over here. There uh, there's like only four people that work in the office, so <laughs> you know, as we will see. But anyway, all right. So that's all for that. All right, then. Um, HASP. Our next meeting is May third at five fifteen. I am currently co-chair. Does that make Kendra the co-chair now? When she shows up to the meeting, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I said I know I'm co-chair of the HASP. We'll have to uh, revote. Re right. Can't find the meeting. Okay. <laughs> so May May third, you got that. And you you all remember that would you know have rewritten the twenty first century grant, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And selectmen. Anything, Sean? <laughs> He's like, I'm not, I'm muting. Yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, no, he went to this. Oh, I was going to say, did he leave? He raised his hand. He raised his hand. He raised his hand. Is he going to say yes, anything Is he going to say Sean, you're going to no. say? I, I was just waving. I don't have anything to oh, add to anything yeah, okay. at all. <laughs> He's like, I oh, know. Uh, facilities and maintenance Sean? would be Sean again. <laughs> so we'll get updated on that. Uh, community connections. Is me. Uh, we're posting, you know, we've talked about that already. Uh, behavioral support team. Oh, it has been quite a while since we've met, and we really do need to meet again, especially with all of this new data. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to, to revitalize this committee. So, um, yeah. I don't so know when we have to meet again. And, uh, when is a good time for the team? Well, I think for Mr. Fleming's, it's better for school hour time. Yeah, uh, he's uh, went to the nine thirty or ten o'clock times mm -hmm. in the okay. past, but then that didn't work out. This is killably. But it works. But it works for me. Yeah, I can do that. I can make myself available during the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that would work. Mm -hmm. Nine thirty would be best. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just need to nail down a date. Just so nail at nine thirty on a day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, on a day. Can we find out from Mr. Fleming which? How about right at the vacation? Uh, oh yeah, vacation is coming, like up. coming up right mm -hmm. here. Yes, they have a full week yeah. vacation. Yes. So, but the week after vacation. Oh, okay. I'm away that week. <laughs> Way to go. Sorry, it's been a bit of a year and a half. All right, so. For that following first week? First week of May? Stay away from Wednesday. Okay, no. First Wednesday. week of May yep. and not on a Wednesday. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm down. <laughs> Tuesdays are really good at 9 30 for me. Tuesday or Thursday, or later day. Later days at the post office. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited that because Gina started the committee and and they were all the others. I started oh, in, the the beginning, in the very beginning one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gina was the chair, I remember, right? Mm -hmm. And then we had some other teachers on it. And so I'm excited to have all this data to be like, let's call to a plan to start mm -hmm. and yeah, to build on to build on and come up with a plan on how to address issues mm -hmm. yep. from 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 that committee. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Because yeah. that's kind of what the committee started with. Mm -hmm. That was the whole thing was address behaviors. Yeah, kind of thing. We looked at PBIS and that yeah. kind of fell out. The district wide. But, yeah. Sad about that. I, I would love to have that come back. Yeah, PBIS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. Yes. All right. So joint loss committee. We're working on the student violence and prevention plan. Um, and we met on the twentieth of March, and our next meeting is five twenty-two at three thirty. And policy committee. Policy, policy. policy. So we're working on uh, the cell phone policy. The committee got the, the meeting kind of got pushed around. So 
we were hoping to have it for this this meeting, the recommendation, but it will be for the May meeting. I don't have it in my calendar, but I seem to think it's the 10th of April. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. March. Does that sound I right? mean, April. 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 Yeah. March. No, we don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So April 10th, like four. Is it? Oh, no. 26. Wait, I have it on the 26th. Hold on. It's the 10th. The 10th. Okay. So it was the 26th. And I thought, okay. Maybe, maybe not. Am I in March? No, I'm in April. Oh, I have it on the 26th, too. Oh, 26. What was I think of the 10th? Oh, you have both days. Okay. So I wasn't crazy about the 10th. Okay. So. I don't know which one you went to the 26th. The one on the 10th was, was, was what was the March meeting. So the April 26th was, was April. So, you know what I mean? That's where yeah. I'm going. That's where they're going on there. Yeah, the, <laughs> the April 10th one that has been together with a couple of times. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe that's why I don't have it in my calendar anymore. Yeah. So the okay. April 26th was the regular April one. Uh, so uh, now they're going to bump up near each other. So it's, you can decide how to do no. So we're gonna have April twenty sixth, and then again on on May tenth or May whatever. Are, are are we meeting on April tenth? That's what she's saying. Yes, <laughs> I thought she said it got rescheduled. We're gonna okay. have two meetings this time. Oh, okay. Which one. which that's not too bad. It's two and a half weeks apart. I mean, April tenth would be better. We better. We can decide on April tenth if we want to meet on April twenty sixth. That's that. Great idea. There yes. you go. Right. Because then yes. we're gonna have to have a board report ready. I know. Me too. Yeah, for May, yeah. Yeah, okay. I was confused too. You're not the only one. So we're meeting April 10th at 4 p.m. Great. Okay. You know, thank you. Thank you, John. <laughs> All right. Uh, citizen comments. Anybody have anything at this time in house? No? Anybody online have anything? Hi, it's Teresa DiOrio. I just have one comment in regards to. Um, the ELO project that you talked about and payments that go to it. I helped a student last year um, kind of facilitate that a little bit because the project was a dugout project and the dugouts, well, not the dugouts necessarily, but the field was a town field. But since he was a student at Hinsdale High School, it was decided that the payments would go to Hinsdale High School with like a memo that was for the dugout project because people were a little bit weary about just sending the student a check or the town back because they wanted to make sure that it was being sent um, to the school. I'm not sure how the school then handled those payments, but I know that's that's how it was done last year. Okay, it must Perfect. have gone to the student activities account. I, I didn't see it. Thanks, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not sure how it went, but I just know that I had a lot of out-of-towners that were like questioning. So I talked to Dan, I talked to the school. I don't remember who I even talked to at the school. But the way that we set up last year is that the checks were mailed to the, the high school um, and had like a CC with his name on it, um, just so that they knew that. And then the, the memo line in the check was written out for the dugout. And that way it was done all through the school. And I know here we're talking more in-house, it's elementary versus high school. But because the student was also doing all the fundraising, then he was able to track it. Um, and he was checking in pretty frequently. So just just a little oversight, just how it happened last year. I don't know. You guys do whatever you want, but I just know it's how it was last year. And I think it was pretty easy for that student to be able to do it that way. But that's that. It's just my little two cents. And Thanks, Teresa. School activity, school activity, it's, not activity. Yeah. it's not a... It's not really a... a it's a old mm, Right, but it's... it's not an Right. We'll figure it out. They couldn't couldn't they just do the school district? The Kinsdale School District and then it's we not put it somewhere differentiating. Yeah, we'll, we can figure it out as right. long as you guys are okay with it coming through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or the school yeah. rather than mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I think Teresa's got a good point. Yeah. It, it shouldn't right. really go to the student. Mm -hmm. And and no. I don't think any of us you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and yeah. even elite, it was kind of like a right, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it didn't feel right. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else online have a comment? Sure. Alex, do you have any comments? I don't at this time. No, thank you, though. Thank you. Donna, do you have any comments? No, I'm all set. Thank you. Jackie, do you have any comments? I do not. Thank you. 
Okay. And William, do you have any comments? No, thank you. Okay. And Sean, oh, sorry. Oh, go Sean, yeah. Sean, Sean. Sean. Oh, yeah, I guess we can ask. Sean, do you have any comments? <laughs> You know, I've been left speechless. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. All right, and then we need a motion to go into non pub. I'll make a motion to go into non public in the RSA 91 and 3. And all of them. And all, all the, the letters. Three, all the letters. All second. Roll call. All yes. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. Right. We need to take a brief potty break yeah. before we actually conduct some business. Please. What do we need to? And then who do we need to stay? Um, I think that uh, from my perspective, we have. I think yeah. everyone can go, um, with the exception of Jody. Well, I have a question for Jody about this. I asked her to look into the stipend mm -hmm. for Ann. Um, mm -hmm. but then, I mean, I. Yeah. Is there any other financial stuff for Jody?